Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. With a passionate staff and an emphasis on parent involvement, EPAT has been championing East Palo Alto youths for decades. Please welcome Keisha Weeks and Christina Irwin from EPAT. Thanks for coming on the show well, this morning. Well, first of all, EPAT, it's been around for 26 years. That's amazing. Yeah, well, I think our longevity is, is a result of the great people that we work with. The mm -hmm. families and the community are wonderfully supportive. Being at Stanford University has also given us an opportunity to deepen the type of programming that we do. So I think, like I said, we've been around a long time, but I think it's not just a result of our you know, great work, but I think the partnerships that we have support our longevity. Right, and you mentioned you are at Stanford and most of your volunteers come from Stanford. Yeah, they're primarily Stanford students. We do have community volunteers who also mm -hmm. help out. So tell me about the programs you provide. So basically we provide one-on-one -on -one tutoring mm -hmm. um, from Stanford student volunteers as well as community members. Our program is divided into three tiers. We have an elementary school group for our K through fifth graders. We have a middle school group for 6th through 8th and a high school group for 9th through 12th. And within those different groups, we do a lot of enrichment activities. So we uh, do educational activities like coming here to go to the Exploratorium or mm -hmm. um, to Golden Gate Park. But we also do things like taking them out bowling or laser tag or taking them to Tahoe, sure. um, taking them camping and just a lot of activities that the kids would other not, otherwise not be exposed to. You have a to. unique approach mm -hmm. to tutoring. Yes. Yes. So explain that a little bit because you talk about, you know, the homework. It's not so much the focus on homework, on completing your homework, but it's about the skills that you, mm -hmm. you develop. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the thing you have to remember is you can't do your homework if you don't know how to do your homework. Right. You know, so essentially what we train our tutors to do is to impart the skills that our students will need to be able to study. Oh. You know, so they have to be able to study and to understand how do I do this on my own mm -hmm. without someone sitting next to me. So that's our goal, to get our students to become independent thinkers and to enjoy learning and not just focus on, oh, I have to get this homework done. Mm -hmm. Right, and you I know. think they get so caught up in that right. after a while. Um, what kind of difference do you see about the kids coming first coming into the program and then later on? Yeah, I think that, you know, kids are kids, right? And they don't always understand what school's all about. I have to go, it's compulsory, so I get up and I go. Right. And I think as a result of being involved in the program, they get to understand why education is important, why they're responsible for it. You know, a lot of times parents and kids depend on, they rely on the institution, right. school. School educates me. But in actuality, especially where we live, we're on the peninsula. School is a place that facilitates learning, but it's up to you to take advantage of it, to and grasp it. And it starts it. at home. Exactly, and that's why our focus is on parents, because mm -hmm. we, we honestly believe that parents are the most important people in their children's lives. We may be with them for two years, six or ten. A parent is with you from you know, birth to death. Therefore, we spend a, a lot of our time investing in them. If they're empowered, if they're educated, if they're motivated, if they have the tools and the experiences and the confidence okay. to, to be the kind of parent that they want to be, their kids can be successful with or without the program. So it seems you're not only tutoring the students, but you're tutoring the parents exactly. as well. Exactly. We feel like that's where the there's no money, but that's where the money is. Mm -hmm. Because if the parents get it and they grasp it or they know how to access the opportunities that exist in, in our world, then they can do anything they need to do. And their kids will have greater opportunities because their parents are aware of how to help them get those opportunities and take advantage of them. There is a big difference when the parents are involved. Oh my gosh. It's night, it's night and day. When mm -hmm. kids go to school and they have no advocate at home, whatever messages the school's trying to send or that we're trying to send don't get reinforced with the people that you spend the most time with, the people that kids look up to naturally. Okay. And so that's why we believe that is really where the the crux of educational or after school time programming needs to have that component for it to really have impact that's lasting. Kids going through this tutoring program, what's the college acceptance rate? So what is we that? have a 90% college acceptance that's rate. That's amazing. And uh, for the past, uh, probably since, about. Yes, yeah, since 2000. For yeah, sure. since 2000. Um, and we have students going to schools like Santa Clara University. Uh, we have acceptances at the University of San Francisco. Uh, students attending Stanford, Berkeley, Menlo, Notre Dame, so mm -hmm. a variety of colleges. 90%. Yes. yes. Yeah, that really is amazing. Okay, so how does tennis play a part in all of this? Well, our founder, Jeff Ahrens, was um, a Stanford alumni. He played on the Stanford tennis team. He also played a little bit of pro tennis, but mm -hmm. he came back to the area and was looking for something to do. And he was encouraged to go do a summer tennis program in East Palo Alto. So he did it. After a while, though, he realized that the kids were really big into tennis, 
But we, he asked me about school, and they were like, eh, school, they didn't really care too much. Mm -hmm. So he uh, joined with someone who was also a Stanford student doing tutoring at uh, Stanford University. And together, they, they formed, um, much to the chagrin of the children, you know, they were kind of disgruntled <laughs> about this new partnership. I love this uh, picture. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah, that's great. Because we have kinders, so we have five-year-olds mm -hmm. all the way to 18-year-olds playing tennis. Mm -hmm. So they combined the two things, and initially, again, the kids were like, do we have to go to tutoring? <laughs> but now, over time, mm -hmm. the attraction is our tutoring. It is our parent intervention. That's why people come to us. But initially, they just wanted to be outside and have fun. Right. But we honestly believe that tennis is a great sport to be partnered with. <laughs> Obviously, uh, t the tennis community is very giving and affluent, so it does help us to sure. attract donors. But tennis is one of those sports where you have to rely on yourself. And in, in the moment, in the game, you have to make adjustments. You have to strategize. You have the responsibility to win or lose. Mm -hmm. and unlike team sports where you can hide behind the team and say we lost right in tennis you lost yeah or you make changes to be successful next time so outside on the tennis courts they're teaching the same lessons about resilience that we're trying to teach in the building well it sounds like a great program thank you so much for coming thank on the you. show telling us all about it yeah. good luck with it in the future too Absolutely. 26 years congratulations on that <laughs> thank you for more information on epat's academic and athletic programs please log on to epatt.org again that's e p att.org. Coming up, we'll learn about the Filipino Community Senators Center's many initiatives. We'll be right back.